So guys, it is time to take this out of my hair. It's been a long time coming. I've had it in since about June. It's now September. We're tired. The hair is tired. It needs to be, you know, out. You are so all you're gonna need for this part is just what you use to install it in, in the first place. And that's it. I'm gonna section out my hair. I'm gonna show you guys just one side of how to uninstall them. And that's all for this little mini series. So this is gonna be part four, the last part. And um, yeah, so I hope this made it easier if you already have these micro links already in your hair or if you're thinking about Getting micro limbs, micro limbs, micro links installed or tapings. Well, not tapings, but micro limbs. I'm gonna see if I can get some tapings next and see what I could do for y'all. Um, I hope that my videos helped you. I hope that it showed you what you can and what you can do, what you can get away with. I hope it showed you the convenience. Um, I might do like a little like pros and cons of my journey with micro links. Um, I tips. Let me know down below if you want if you're interested in it. Um, I'm still gonna make one anyways because I find like this was the most convenient hairstyle that I've ever, ever, ever done. Like, hands down, this summer, I had no stress, no worries, no problems, wake up, put, leave my hair out, leave my, put my hair in a bun. Um, guys, this is all I ever wanted in life. Period. You just need this little tool that's it I'm gonna show you guys up close what one in the front will look like when I take it out so it's like a better visual let me see if I can find one yeah there's one right here okay okay so you don't like I don't know how to like so you want to like kind of clip it in this angle so you want to like Wait, do you guys see that? So you wanna put it like, not like this. Well, you could do it this way too, but when you clamp it, you're gonna clamp it this way so it goes back into a circle so you open it back up so you can just, you know, slide it out. I'm gonna see if I can get that on video for you guys. Um, so let's see, you're gonna go here. And don't squeeze too tight, just like a little, like you barely even squeezing this, just like a little, like that. You don't want to do it like this because then it could lock up the other way and you don't want that because when that's, once it is clamped too hard, um, that's it. You're going to have to cut it out or get a professional like myself or someone that you know to remove it for you. So that's it. It's open and you're just going to slide out the extension, voila, and then you're going to slide out the bead, voila, and no hair loss. The eye tips I can definitely reuse again. Definitely not gonna use it again because you know we're all about econ economizing and you know reusing, recycling, restoring, reviving, re you know, on this channel. Um, some of the eye, some of the links itself, I still may be able to use or maybe not, but it's recommended that you always use different um, like the links uh, when reinstalling the hair because like after like because you've clamped it to, to put it in it can you know ruin the stuff in them so that's what this is my real hair over here um let's see let's go for another one because i kind of want to give you guys like a front row look and then a back so once again where's the tip slight squeeze sometimes you have to squeeze more than once but again slight squeeze I tell the Nolly already slight squeeze squeeze two you squeeze two you squeeze with too much force hmm. you gonna have little ball patches from cutting these things out of your head I promise you so I'm just putting on an angle right now too and slight squeeze voila it's out 
So yeah, it's really, really simple. The hair is still kind of straight. I'm gonna wash them. Maybe I'll do a video washing the links once they're uninstalled from my hair and show you guys if you guys want that too. So it's gonna be like an extra bonus. So you guys got two bonuses if I do decide to do um, uh, how to wash your links because the bonus was me straightening the hair to show you guys that you don't have to, like if you wanna go for a straight look and you don't wanna be curly anymore, you can do that. And then this might be a bonus where I show you guys how to wash your links if you wanna reuse them. Um, so as you can see, even you're gonna see some links are kind of far away from my roots as well. That's to show the growth, baby! I think I did a great job installing them. So once again, on an angle, and you see like it's this way, but I'm putting the clamp this way to really go on an angle. And whoop, I think, wait, hold on. Squeeze, squeeze. That's it. That's it, that's all. That is it, that is all. You could do this in sections, but like I just feel how I'm doing it right now, just freelance, is just working for me. Yo, look how far back this one went. Wow. And if you have like, I would also recommend if you have like a detangler, it's not, you don't need it. Like so far my hair, like my actual hair feels really soft and moisturized. But if you want to do the extra mile, like let's say if you take out your hair in sections or like when once you finish a complete like a section, like once I complete hair, you can always go in with some detangler of your choice. Y2 comb, okay? Or um, a wet brush and just detangle out your hair um, if you plan on washing it right away and you want it just to be an easy wash day, whatever, whatever it is. Just you know, but it's I would I don't need to, I don't think I need to really do that. My hair is pretty much moisturized for the for the most part. Um, but yeah, you can definitely do that as well. I'm really not losing any hair. Like there's obviously gonna be strands that I be coming out. So far, so good. I mean, I still haven't combed out my hair either. I'm most likely gonna think I'm going bald once I do comb out my actual hair. Cause since these been installed, like I've only really combed out my hair like during like the wash days. And it's mostly like the extensions really getting combed out, if that makes sense. So I don't, I'm not sure if my hair really got, um, like it shed it, but I didn't really comb out like my actual hair from like the ends to the roots. It was really just the ends. So I know that there's gonna be a ton of dead hair once I do comb out my hair. So because I already set my mind up for that and I already know that, when I see like a big clunk, I won't be shocked nor surprised. I'm gonna be ready. Do you feel alive? Look in my eyes. We both know it's wrong, but you're still coming over. Even when you're gone, the feeling just goes on. Do you leave it alone? But you're still getting close. So we both know it's wrong. Can't keep this for long. And I don't know if you guys can see my scalp. But it's not sold. It's not sold already either. That's really good. No dreading of the hair either. That I think that was like my biggest fear is thinking like, oh gosh, my hair go dread. Like, no. It is good for the hair.
big part I just combed out but it's not bad it ain't looking too bad so I'm just gonna braid this down so it's like out of my way optional you could braid it you could twist it or you could just leave it as that if it's not bothering you I just want it out of my way so as I look in the mirror I could um you know see better even though I don't need to see, because I could just feel with a link sign, just do what I gotta do. But, you know, everything helps. Or everything could help. I don't even know, yo, did my hair grow? Like, was it this long before installing it? I don't even know. I don't even know. And if you want, you can also put like oil on the tips of your fingers or like you can rub it into the link as well um, when taking it out. You really, just, you don't really need to because it really slips out very easily. But if you want to, um, you definitely can. That's not a rule or anything, but I just, in my head, like I just feel like you definitely can. I don't think it's gonna like destroy your hair or anything. Um, it could be helpful with the sliding process if you're afraid of like breakage or anything. Um, you could definitely add oil to the tip. I didn't learn that in school, but I just think it, it will make sense, you know? I'm actually gonna test it out and see if it makes a difference while I'm here with you guys. So hold on, let me get my oil, I'm coming back. Oh, so I just got some basic olive oil. I don't really, I don't even remember like the last time I've used this, but for this purpose, just to test it out, we're gonna see what it does. Got. Okay, so I'm just gonna take this. And I also like kind of like thing the end too, so when it slides, it also slides down my hair shot for easier um, on installation. It feels the same, to be honest. I won't lie to y'all. But it could probably still make a difference. Gotta be something different. You must be made for me. Patience is nothing. In and out, in and out, in and out. Arguing, trifling, difficult. Let more. All the bobby pins I was looking for throughout the week, I'm finding them in my hair. Honestly, I would just say, do what you want to do. If you want to put the oil, put the oil. If you don't, you don't need to. Um, yeah.
So, from the first side that I've um, taken down, this is all the hair that I've lost. Um, as you can see in the middle of my hair where my alopecia is, you know, just alopecia. Um, I don't know if the, I'm gonna see like when I play it back, if it showed like I saw like little, like little growths because I really have not been touching my hair with these links inside. Um, so that's that's looking good at first i was like oh my god did it get worse but i saw little like little nubs coming up so i was like okay something i'll go on which makes me very very happy Ooh, someone called me who called me oh, my daddy um so yeah that's the first side i'm just gonna break this down Don't mess around because she loves me so, and this I know for sure. But does she really want to see me walk out the door? Don't try to fight the feeling because the thought alone is killing me right now. Thank God for mom and dad for sticking together because we don't know.
coming back because YouTuber brain, I forgot to make an outro to the video. So first and foremost, thank you guys so much for reaching to the end of this video with me. Don't forget to leave me a comment down below to let me know if you guys like this four part series of the micro links, eye tips from installation to takeout. Um, that would really help me a lot. Y'all be leaving my comments way too dry for my liking personally and personally, I don't like it. It needs to stop. It needs to stop. So let's get talking up in them comment sections. If you guys like this video, be sure to give me a thumbs up. This also helps with pushing my video forward for more people to see what I've produced for you guys. If you didn't, then tant pis pour vous. La vie goes on. Simple. And as per usual, boost, you guys in my next video. Take care of yourself, stay blessed, and stay safe. Ciao.